Please, first. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we uh, had a very important, very frank, very friendly, very brotherly uh, discussions. Uh, the meeting uh, took place very the, at the most closed point to Palestine. From here, we can really see Palestine in front of us. This really was the intentions and the idea because, you know, uh, uh, Minister, uh, uh, of course, couldn't uh, cross and, and uh, to meet uh, with me, you know, in Palestine. So we have decided to meet at the closest point uh, to Palestine. Um, I'm extremely happy, satisfied, and appreciate it. The fact that uh, the first visit that uh, the minister uh, has uh, done in this year uh, was coming here to meet uh, with me to express uh, the support of uh, Indonesia to Palestine, to the Palestinian coast. Uh, something that we do know and we do appreciate. We value extremely well and very much. Uh, all Palestinians are aware of the fact that Indonesia, the president of Indonesia, the minister of foreign affairs of Indonesia, the government of Indonesia, the parliament of Indonesia, the people of Indonesia, civil society of Indonesia, everybody of Indonesia shows all the time support, commitment to the Palestinian cause and express uh, such support to Palestine. We have heard uh, the president uh, expressing that many times we received uh, the letter he has sent uh, uh, for the occasion of the International Day in Solidarity of the Palestinian People. We have, re we have heard uh, the minister herself uh, at the beginning of the year expressing uh, the position of Indonesia when it comes to foreign policy, to the uh, diplomatic achievements. And always, always, Palestine has a space, a place in uh, Indonesia foreign policy. Not to mention when Indonesia was a non-permanent member of the Security Council, Indonesia has performed extraordinary. And I do remember her calling me and telling me how should we uh, use our place in the Security Council to serve the interest of the Palestinian people and the Palestinian cause. That we should coordinate as Indonesia and Palestine to promote and to move things forward. We do appreciate that. We know all of that. And that's why, you know, when I meet with her, you know, as if I'm meeting with a Palestinian colleague. Because, yes, she has proven her commitment and her courage, uh, you know, for the sake of Palestine and the Palestinian cause. We uh, uh, know that for sure. And even when President Ahmed Abbas called uh, the Indonesian President Joko Widodo, uh, it was very clear what we have heard is a clear commitment, clear satisfaction to all of us. We really appreciate that very much and we highly appreciate the work that has been done the commitment that has been shown, uh, the coordination that uh, has continued uh, between us in support of the Palestinian people. Thank you, uh, President Widodo, for your commitment, for your support. Thank you, dear minister, really, for your work, for your commitment, for your dedication. I know that you had uh, difficult times 
in the uh, 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 in the past, in the near future, in the near past, and I know that you resisted all type of pressure when it comes to Palestine. Your commitment to Palestine is beyond any pressure, and that's why uh, we see uh, in Indonesia a, a brotherly country, and when we see we see in Indonesian people a brotherly people. And when I look at uh, the minister, I see his sister. And uh, when I hear my president speaking to the Indonesian president, I think, you know, they are talking between brothers and between friends. This is really how we uh, uh, value the relationship. And that's why I want to assure everybody, including, you know, uh, uh, the uh, journalists, colleagues from Indonesia, that we are extremely satisfied and uh, we uh, are thankful and we are still hopeful that, you know, uh, uh, there is a lot of work uh, ahead of us, that we will continue in the same commitment, the same readiness, the same eagerness in order really to contribute not only in uh, developing our bilateral relations, which is also a must, but also in trying to promote peace and justice for Palestine and peace and justice everywhere in the world. My dear sister, thank you very much, really, for making the effort to come and, and see me here. And I know it's not easy, especially uh, in the time of pandemic, COVID-19, but you took the courage, you took the commitment and uh, you uh, uh, ought to come. Thank you very much for that. I appreciated very much the discussions that we have had. It was very fruitful, very thoroughly discussions between friends, very frank discussions. And the whole discussion was how Indonesia can continue helping Palestine. Right. Thank you very much. Well, uh, Minister Riyad Malki, colleagues from the media. First of all, uh, thank you very much, uh, Minister Malki, for your warm reception uh, and for meeting me halfway here uh, at this spectacular uh, natural wonder, the Dead Sea. So colleagues, we are meeting uh, at the uh, Dead Sea. My first trip aboard this year, I mentioned to you, is dedicated to show our unwavering support toward the issue of Palestine. And yesterday, I met the Jordan Foreign Minister, our brother Ayman Safadi, and the issue of Palestine was also at the center of discussion. Colleagues from the media, my meeting with Minister Malki was very productive. I reiterated Indonesia and referring position toward Palestine. This position was also mentioned by President Widodo during his phone conversation with President Abbas in December 2020. We must work harder to make 2021 a good year for peace between Palestine and Israel. And we welcome the different approach taken by the US administration toward Palestine. I welcome the result of emergency meeting of the Arab League, which dem demonstrates solid position of Arab Leagues to render their support toward the Palestinian uh, cause. And this morning, I received also news on another positive result emitting from the Palestinian National Dialogue in Cairo. So this positive development should be used as strong foundation to move forward. And again, this backdrop, some points that I reiterated during my meetings with Minister Riyad Malki. First is of course, again, Indonesia principal position on the Palestine cause remain solid and unchanged. Indonesian support toward the plight of Palestine will always be based on the UNSC resolution and internationally agreed parameters, including the two-state two, two solution. 
And I'm very glad that this principle were also reiterated during the Arab League's meeting in Cairo a couple of days ago. And then my second issue is exploring possible avenues of resumption of peace and uh, peace talk. And talks and negotiation have to resume sooner than later, and Indonesia stands ready to contribute. And my third point is on the unity of Palestine. We discussed about it. I reiterated the importance of unity and solidity of Palestine. This becomes more important in the lead up of the planned presidential and parliamentary uh, election in Palestine. And therefore, the Cairo meeting is of high importance. And I do hope that the next meeting in March uh, will also bring positive res uh, result. A strong unity is crucial to ensure successful election in Palestine. And to this end, Indonesia stands ready to send our observer upon your request, of course. Very good. And lastly, on the Indonesian support to Palestine, including during the pandemic, we discussed also about that. And Indonesia is committed to provide 2.3 million to Palestine through various mechanisms, bilaterally as well as through UN ROA and ICRC. At the moment, the Indonesian government is communicating closely with the Palestine Authority, UN ROA, and ICRC. And we hope the aid fund for COVID mitigation in Palestine could be disbursed in the first semester of this year. And furthermore, as one of the co-chairs of COFEX, uh, COFEX AMC engagement group, mm -hmm. uh, in the last meeting, I highlighted the importance of ensuring fair, equal access, and distribution of vaccine to Palestinian people. Thank you. So friends of, of the media and uh, colleagues, my brother, uh, Minister Malki, let us continue working together to maintain the conducive condition, not only in the preparation of your election, but also for the negotiation, your next negotiation, for a just and lasting peace. And such conducive conditions are also expected from the Israel side. Among others, is by putting a stop to the annexation. So again, thank you very much for this meeting and thank let you. us continue to work together and rest assured Shall that we. Indonesia will always be with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you.